Hey there, welcome back and thanks for joining me. All my supplies and equipment are down in the description box below and there's an Amazon link also. And if you like this video, hit that subscribe button. If you want to be notified when new videos come out, hit that notification bell and likes, comments, and questions are welcome. Okay, I've jumped a little bit ahead before I thought oh, this might be something somebody would like to get an idea from. So let me catch up what I've done. This is a stamp. Uh... <laughs> He doesn't miss a lick. Oh, my word. Hey, Henry. So, <laughs> it's got this writing on it. And then I have used, so my alcohol, sorry, I'm on the wrong thing. My watercolor will not reactivate this and mess it up. So, it's the archival acid-free permanent waterproof ink from Ranger. So, all I do is get the ink all on my stamp. I do it. I don't do it straight. You can. I don't. I, I just kind of slap it on there. Now look, it didn't hit some places. Perfectly fine with me because I like that look. So now we're caught up. On this, uh, let's see. Watercolor is hard to explain. Um, this is what we're going for right here. And when I get to finishing this up, Either I'll dry it or I'll show you how to do that. But I do some ink work on it too. Some uh, pen work rather. So let's let's get rolling. This is what I do. So I go in. Get me set up here. And I'm getting my bright yellow. Can you see my paint? Sort of. I just get my bright yellow. And I start with my little petal. So I want a flower coming this way. I want it watery, but I want a lot of paint on it, too. I don't worry about connecting them. This is not an exact. It's an indicate. Hey, will you get up here? Come. Well, I know, but come on. Okay. I do one at a time. I don't keep all doing doing all of them because this will start drying. It won't react like I want it to. Now, I'm just getting an orange. You can get a orangey orange or a red orange, whatever you want to do. And I just do this. I just want an indication of it. You can pull it down as far as you want. Then I go in with a deeper brown. Let me see how much you can see on this. Oh, kind of all of it. Um, I go in for my deeper brown. Now, this is going to be the dots that I put down, come on, for the bottom, oh, good gosh. <laughs> what? I, I know, but I got, I got to paint. I know. Okay, so this is what I'm going to do for the bottom of my head of the flower. Now, I'm purposely going to put a little bit in these petals. I want them to bleed down a little bit. Okay, so that's all I'm doing right there. No more rinse. Um, I'm going to come over here and get some black. Get it pretty strong. So mix, you know, get a lot of color uh, in your water right there. And I'm going to do the top part. Now I'm just putting dots. Make it as tall and fun as you want it. There. That's a fun little flower. Okay. After this, I'm going to let it do its thing. Look, this one's already pulling down. See, I love that stuff. But if the rest of them don't do it, it's okay, too. Okay, so here I go for my good grief. Will you just get up here? Come on. Yeah, I know. But come here. Come right here. I know. Come right here. I, I, come right here. Jeez. Okay. I'm going to have one going right here. 
You can go this way with the petals or down. Really doesn't matter, and it doesn't even matter if you mix it up. I go in with my orange, and this is a pretty pale orange. Then I go in with my brown. Well, I got some yellow in it. Again, no big deal. That's all I'm gonna do. I just want to indicate I don't even want <laughs> I don't even want to uh, push it okay I'm gonna pull that down just a little just cuz it's kind of weird there we go maybe just on one side okay yeah I just needed to it was a weird looking okay back to my yellow Let me put one. Here's the center of my paper. I'm going to put one right here. I know. Oh, my goodness. You brought the claws out on that one. You can't make on my shirt. Oh. I haven't painted in a while, and he is about to lose his little mind. Okay. Just touch. Now you don't even have to do the orange. You can just go straight to the brown. It's again whatever you want to do. A lot of people like to use palettes. I like them and I'll use them. But if I was to get this color out, then it's out. With my palette here, um, and what I'm talking about, a mixing palette, it's on that. And it's fine because I, I really don't wash it off unless it gets crazy. But if I get these wet, they just dry right back in the same thing. So I just kind of tend not to, uh, whoa, that went green. Um, I kind of tend not to waste, I guess. Okay. I know. All right. Well, that's green and that's adding a weird little thing. But on the other hand, that's pretty fun. Now, this way, this one right here is, is real gummy, sticky, weird. Compared to my other ones, I like it, though. It's uh, M. Graham. Love those watercolors. And they're really reasonably priced. And they come in a big container. I mean, a big, big tube. Okay, so here I am going to lay down my stems. I'm just putting them down however they are. I don't know why I rinse that. Um, that's how they get down. Now, the way I do my leaves is very uh, messy. I Start off at the point of my brush, put my brush down, usually turn it sideways, and then start coming back up, but I bring my brush straight up and down again in the end. And if I don't like the end, I paint it in there with all I like it. There we go. Nah. I know. 
you know, I think I'm going to leave just three. I put a few more on the other ones, but I think I like that. If you want to add some fun stuff to your leaves, you can do yellow or blue in it. I like to go in here with this yellow and just put a streak. And it's just, if it'll pick up a little bit, it'll move a little bit. And if it doesn't, it's still there. I mean, it's, it just makes it fun. Okay, my favorite part. We'll get in here with some yellow and we'll get it really loaded with some color. Really loaded. It's watery, but it's also loaded with color. And you know what? That brush doesn't do well. Okay, let me swap. These liners do really well. I've also got some fatter brushes, but these liners do great. Okay, now we'll get that one loaded up. I like the big drops, especially on yellow, because they will show up. All right. So there is that. I'm going to set that off. Now I'm going to do this one. It's dry. I'm going to show you what I do with my pen. Now this is the Sharpie pen. Uh, it's real tiny. It's really, can you see the end of it? I don't want anything big, but I do want some indication. So what I'm going to do here. I'm backing up off the end so I can not be as exact. If I'm up here, I'm going to want to control it too much. I back up, and I'm just going to barely hit some outline. And I may do the left side of all of them, something like that. And if I make some squigglies, that's okay too. And then make some lines up here. And see how that shows up so much better than this. So we'll go through here. Now you can do one. I mean, this is an example. When you do this, you can kind of scribble one side. It puts a little shadow on it. So it's just a little, I mean, it's so fun. You can do the leaves. They're dark enough. I'm not going to mess with them. But that's the look. This just adds another layer of fun. That's all that is. You can see it on this one. You know, it's something, but it's just not a plain white background. So I hope this gave you a fun idea. And just go out there and have fun. Thanks for joining me.